Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for Tuesday, April the 21st. This is going to be our lesson video uh, that covers our new lesson that we'll be working on today, covering the surface area of pyramids. So as we continue to work more through this, you're going to find a lot of similarities. We're kind of starting to get to the point um, that we're going to hit a lot of repetition with things that we've already done. So the only differences are going to be the way the shapes work. Um, and so we're going to use the same strategies, but we're going to have different answers because of how we're working. So when we did um, the uh, prisms, uh, we got something that would be uh, similar to what we're working with again today um, to a certain point. So what we're going to have to start out with is a uh, pyramid. So the base of the pyramid is going to be um, 12 squared. So 12 times 12 is going to, this is going to be the base. And then each of our sides of the pyramid is going to be 12 and then times um, the height of 7. So we're going to be using uh, 1 half of 7 times 12. I'm going to put the 12 first as we get down here. And also the area portion uh, for in the base is going to be 144. So 12 times 12 gives us one, or sorry, yes, 12 times 12 gives us 144. So I'm going to put the 12 first so I can go ahead and uh, use the kind of mental math trick that I tell you guys about. Um, I'm going to cut this part in half. So 1 half times 12 is going to give me 6. 6 times 7 is going to give me 42. And then now, um, as we move to our last step, we are going to have 144 plus, and then 4 times 42, which is going to give us 144 plus the answer to this, which should be 168. And then that should give us 312 inches squared. And that would be the surface area of our model. So moving over to number one for the Sharon show, um, I'm again kind of using the same idea. Um, of starting by writing out what my amount for the base is going to be. So I've got five along the base. We're going to have a square. And so that is going to give us five times five for 25 for the base. And then we are doing five. And then the height is eight. So I'm going to do one half of eight times five. Um, and that would give me 40 uh, for here. And then I can cut it in half or I can do it uh, to start with here. So I will do that and get 4 times 5, which is 20. And then I'm going to be doing 4 times 20, which is going to be 80. And then I'm going to be doing 80 plus 25 to get 105 centimeters squared. So number 3, um, we have a square pyramid with a side length of 3 feet and lateral faces with heights of two feet. So we want to know what is the lateral area of the pyramid. Um, so the lateral area, I think, is just going to cover the amount um, that we want for the lateral surfaces. So I'm going to suggest um, that um, go ahead and take a look at that for yourself real quick. We don't want to find uh, the entire surface area apparently. I'm going to pause real quick and double check something to make sure that I don't make a mistake uh, when I am doing this. <clears throat> and I will be right back with you because I read this initially as surface area. All right, so the lateral area that they're looking for, which comes from the page that I skipped um, doing on the video, 
um, is going to be the area of all of the lateral faces. So we're going to have four lateral faces that are three uh, for the base and two for the height. So um, I'm going to combine this. That's going to give us one times three equals three. There are four of those. And so that should give us a lateral uh, area of 12 feet squared. Uh, number five. So working with the surface area, we've got uh, 10 by 6. So 10 times 10 is going to give us 100 feet for our base. And then we have four sides that are going to be um, 1 half of 10 by 6. So that's going to be uh, 50. Or I'm sorry, 5 times 6, uh, which would give us 30. And we are going to have four of those. And that would give us 120 for that part. Plus the 100 that we have will give us 220 centimeters squared. And number seven, which was the last one that we were going to work on for this, um, <clears throat> we are going to have a uh, very large pyramid. Uh, so we are working with 600 feet for each side. So 600 times 600. Uh, would give us 36 and four zeros at the end for that part. Um, and then we have a height of 440 feet. So we would do um, one half of 600. Times 440. And I am going to use a calculator. I would suggest that you do that too. Um, and it will save us all a little bit of time here. So the 600 uh, times 440 part um, gives us 264,000. And then if we cut that in half, it should be 132,000. So now I'm going to have one of these and four of these. And so I am going to have Five hundred twenty-eight thousand and so that is going to give me three zeros here, an eight, an eight, and another eight. So that should be eight hundred eighty-eight thousand square feet. So that one was a bit more uh, than we probably needed to do, but um, if we're going to relate this to working with real life um, situations, that would be where we would really actually use that. Um, not with our um, little, oh, let's pretend that this is a pyramid and find the measurement of that. We're going to talk about the, the actual size of real um, structures. So at some point in time, someone had to figure all of that out and be able to figure out not only how to make something that size to actually make it even, but also have the correct supports in place for building that structure and so forth. So uh, one of the more fascinating things, uh, just kind of a quick aside, um, as far as trying to figure out uh, different mathematical things. So uh, if you are familiar with the number pi, uh, people have been working on calculating that for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, even in using uh, some of that uh, to be able to figure out how to build the actual pyramids 
uh, that originally came from ancient Egypt. So uh, we've been using math for a long time and trying to figure things out to figure out how large our structure needs to be to actually not only support the weight, but also to make it possible to build and not fall over and all kinds of uh, interesting things. So this is kind of the uh, modern day version of getting to learn about uh, what uh, ancient people had to figure out to actually build these uh, to begin with. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I will have the homework video coming up uh, and that will come out on Wednesday morning. And then I will have the new lesson that I will record. So you'll see the shirt for one more video um, as I'm recording all of these on the same day. So hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.